So I have been trying to find ways to cut down on our chicken feed costs. Um, and there's a lot of different ways that you can do that. And not just for the chickens, but for the rabbits too. So today I am gonna walk you through some of the things that we're doing that our animals like that are all natural and completely good for their diet. Hey. So before I let the chickens out, in here we have some blueberries that went a little bit too long, some strawberries that Junior ate off of that didn't finish. We have banana peel because chicken lo chickens love banana peels. It's crazy how much they love those. Then we have leftover chicken pot pie, eggshells, squash, and that's it. Now obviously this isn't going to feed the chickens for an entire day. So we have some other things that we give them too. So this is chaff hay, chaff hay, and it literally is pasture in a bag. It is alfalfa that they cut and then they immediately throw into these bags um, so that it ferments, naturally ferments. So not only are they getting a high percentage of protein um, pasture grass, but it's also fermented so it has all that great bacteria in it that um, really helps with their, with their digestive tract. Um, we give this to our rabbits and our chickens and in the future any other livestock that we may have. Now this bag is a 50 pound bag and it cost me about $15 at our local co-op. Um, but I will normally not get a bag this big. I got a bag this big because it was on sale. And um, But it, you have to use it up in about 14 days after opening it. it you'll know when it's gone bad it'll smell really nasty. Um, so they make a smaller size bag too that's like, I think it's like $8 or something like that. But I got the big bag, so it goes to our chickens and it goes to our rabbits, and they love it. It's such a great supplement to their feed. In fact, you could feed them this on a regular basis. If you didn't want to go buy alfalfa, you can buy this, and they actually eat less of it because it fills them up quicker. So this is another great option for your chickens and rabbits. like it is wet because it is fermented feed so keep that in mind it smells like a silo if you've never been on a farm then you wouldn't understand but it smells just like a silo corn silage um, it doesn't smell bad it smells fermented it smells yeasty um, but you're gonna know when it goes bad because it's gonna smell really really nasty okay so right now it has a sweet smell to it but when it goes bad it was more nasty
of course, chickens and rabbits need a well-balanced diet, so keeping them on some sort of feed is a good idea, especially if you have laying hens. But it is absolutely possible to completely feed your chickens and your rabbits from food scraps, from food scraps, from good quality hay, from chaff hay, and from feeding them a raw food diet. So rabbits typically need one quart of raw food per day. If you are planning your garden, now is the time to plan your garden for this year if you're planning a rabbit garden. A lot of times we grab, um, we let our backyard grow up a lot, and we will grab grass clippings from the backyard and give it to the rabbits throughout the whole summer. The whole summer and spring once the grass starts growing, our rabbits are, are on a completely raw food diet. And other than nursing moms and pregnant moms, they do get an alfalfa pellet to help them um, with their milk outtake, output. And, um, and also, we have our grow out babies that are on pellets. So, but mostly they're on a raw food diet in the summertime and the springtime, and then late into fall. Our chickens, we are getting ready to reseed our backyard and regrade it. And so our chickens are staying in the chicken run. So they are now getting feed scraps, galore, chaff hay, and um, their regular layer ration every day. Um, the chaff hay works really well because it is um, a natural source, almost like they're free ranging. So a little bit goes a really long way with them and we are really excited to use that on our homestead. Justin Rhodes did a really cool video that I'm going to link above and below about um, a guy feeding 600 of his chickens completely on food scraps and that was really inspiring for me. Uh, came at the right time because I was really looking for a way to feed our chickens with less waste for us and with um, a more natural way. A lot of people you hear that you can't feed chickens unless you give them a layer ration and while in some areas that's true there are ways to get around constantly buying them food and that is with the food that you eat every single day. Um, we get the food scraps and imperfect food from farmers markets, from the store aisle where you can get um, discounted produce, uh, even organic discounted produce. And then we have the chaff hay which is really quite reasonable and lasts quite a while. Um, like I said, they do make the smaller bags that you can get. The chaff hay is great because typically chickens will go through alfalfa and they'll just pick out the seeds and the bugs, but this chaff hay is fermented and so they can eat the whole chaff hay and it's good with beneficial bacteria for them. It's really cold this morning, look the chickens are all puffed up. Your rabbits are really going to love the chaff hay too. Like I said, they only need about a quart of raw food every day per rabbit. But nursing mamas and babies and grow outs might need a pellet. Obviously, the main source for a rabbit's diet is straight hay. Orchard grass or timothy hay um, works really well. Giving your rabbits a high um, protein diet, like just straight alfalfa hay, isn't typically suggested. We really prefer to give them um, orchard grass. Ours really love orchard grass. And then the chaff hay as a supplement or for nursing moms, we will give alfalfa hay, but um, the chaff hay works great. And then their raw feed diet, and they absolutely love it. Now, let me warn you, if you have rabbits that have never been on raw feed, which means leafy greens, carrots, vegetables, chaff hay, then you have to wean them into it, okay? Um, rabbits are have a very, very sensitive digestive tract and you need to really give them a lot of good quality hay before you start introducing any raw food to them. So just keep that in mind over a three to five day period, wean them off of their pellet and then onto the raw feed. So you don't want any digestive upset. Feeding the chickens a raw feed diet has not upset their production at all. In fact, it's increased it by a few chickens starting to lay more often. And so we really are seeing great evidence with this. And um, I hope that you guys can kind of take it as an inspiration that sometimes you can get rid of the pellet and not have to feed what you think you have to feed. All right, that's it for me today, guys. I hope this video finds you well. I do want to encourage you. Um, there's a book about rabbits. It's called Beyond the Pellet, and it's written by Boyd Craven, and he's the mastermind behind the Backyard Meat Rabbit Facebook group. And so I want to encourage you to check that book out for your chickens and then uh, for your rabbits. And then check my book out coming out next spring for your chickens. So, all right, guys, have a great day. Talk to you later. Happy homesteading.